Yo, what is cool y'all? In today's tutorial, I'll be trying out the new MBX plugin, which is an AI power tool that automatically syncs your videos for you. Now that sounds absolutely crazy and I haven't actually tried it out yet, but shout out to Pixel Safe for sending it out to me so I could show you guys. But let's hop right into Premiere Pro and let's try it out. So as you can see, I haven't even activated my license yet, but I'll paste my license in here and activate it. And right off the jump right here, I need to import my files, a song, clips and assets. So I'll start off with the song and I got my song right here. So I'll import that one and let's add in our clips. I got a couple clips right here shot by VFX soon. I'll import all of them because that's the video I'm working on right now. And for my assets, I'll import some overlays. Nothing crazy, just a few random ones to try it out. And then I'll make sure to press auto import to timeline so they can all import and then organize. Now I'll wait for a couple minutes and see what we get. All right, so I got my clips in here and right here I got a couple maps with B-roll, assets and performance shots. It actually looks good. As you can see, we got our overlays in here. The song is also put in assets, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. We got 13 B-roll clips in here as well. So it looks good. It says select all video audio clips in your timeline. So I'll just press this one. Now all of them are selected. And then I'll right click the selection and choose synchronize just like this. And select mix down as the sync method. If you've been editing on Premiere Pro, then you're probably familiar with this. So this will basically just sync all of our clips. So now all I did was synchronize my clips. So now I can either auto cut all clips to the beat which will basically just cut the clips to the beat and then I can pick like what clips I want to use for the video myself or I can select the auto create the first rough cut and I think I'll go for these two and press start and see what we get and it says that this might take five to ten minutes so go take a walk or scroll TikTok until it's done and I'm definitely not going on a walk so I'll pull up the TikTok and I'll be back in ten minutes oh shit that did not take ten minutes but I think it's done so I'll play it through and see what we got all right that's crazy so that took me like what five minutes maybe and i already have a full rough cut which is insane like this would normally take me like four hours at least to create a full rough cut so it's just a crazy time saver and as you can see right here i got the final rough cut but if i go back here i also got the selection with all of the clips basically just go back here pick between the clips and i also got the sequence which is all of the clips without any cutting and right here is obviously cut to the beat so if i want to change some of the clips i could either go here which is cool but if we want to change some of the clips like before the intro right here it had some b-roll that i didn't like so i actually want to get rid of that like the one right here so i'm back right here with the first sequence and the one that's just the clips and this time instead i'll select auto cut all clips to the beat auto create the first rough cut as well as manually review and replace clips this will give us the freedom to just go through everything and check like what clips that we prefer what clips that we don't want and just a lot more freedom to work with so let's press start and once again i'll let it load for a couple minutes like this actually didn't take as long as i expected it to maybe because i don't have too many clips to work with it's like five performance scenes uh, which isn't too much for a music video so i guess it could take longer if you have more clips so now i got a cut right here i'm not sure if it's good i haven't checked it out yet but it seems solid so right now it says double click the header to maximize the player so i'll double click right here yeah just like that and i want to make it a little bit bigger something like this and i can close some of these panels up here so now what i can do in here is play the clip and this is for the first scene and if i like this one then i can press like check and i could go through these scenes right here and this is for the first frame so if i want to start with like this one nah i don't like that one either i guess i'll go for something like this and then i'll just press check and then we're here for the next frame that's the one that it picked i guess so i'll go through and see and if i press x then it will just skip this one and then i can add it in manually later but i'll go for this one so i'll press check 
and there's 109 cuts so obviously you don't want to do this for every single cut and yeah this one's cool so i'll stick with this one but yeah i won't take you guys through the whole process of me editing this video so i'll just press finalize cut my pc is a little bit slow so i'll just have to live with it but now the cut is finalized and i have my clips in here so i'll play like a cool 30 seconds off it let's react to it i make it back in the back seat beat cash ain't call me sexy wow hey, i'm finna show y'all some and to all the niggas who got a problem with me y'all niggas know what's up bitch can't nobody shut me up i shit suck me up eat those three non drugs now like i'm genuinely so impressed like the fact that it just doesn't pick any of the shaky footage or any of the blurry footage is like absolutely mind-blowing but i actually think that i have a pretty solid cut right here and uh, that i can actually go with so i'll probably just export this out and add some effects in after effects but i think i'll rate this plugin like a cool 9 out of 10. it's a crazy time saver you can't deny that but one thing that i did have a tiny problem with is like this selection right here if i go back to this selection or just like these clips right here i would want to be able to go back to the version that i had like where i can pick like the auto cut and all of that stuff without having to put my song and clips back in once again but nonetheless it's a great plugin and you can use code lurkin at the checkout to get five dollars off because Pixel Safe were kind enough to send me that discount code and make sure to go and grab this plugin because it's only going to get better like it's just going to keep evolving and you don't want to miss out I'm sure their prices will go up soon but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one